Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for a super special video. So, we got some really big news today, and I wanted to throw together a video really quick, because this is super exciting, impactful stuff for Standard. So, a while ago, Wizard sort of teased that they were making these challenger decks that you're supposed to be able to play in Standard, and I kind of scoffed and said, oh yeah, sure, they've made pre-con decks before, they've never really been that good or that mean meaningful but today wizards released the list for the challenger decks and i am just blown away they pulled out all the stops and they're pretty close to selling legit tier standard decks for 30 bucks available at your big box stores also your local game stores but the fact that they're in walmart and target mass market products means that they're gonna be msrp because you can always get them at walmart if other places are trying to sell for above msrp so i want to go over these decks really quick because it is pretty surprising stuff so the tldr on the challenger decks themselves before we talk about the decks and why these decks are so crazy is that they come out on april 6th so we're still a little ways away a month and a half away and MSRP of $29.99, and these are full 75 card decks with sideboards designed that you can pick them up, play them at your local game store right away. So again, when I heard they were making these, I was kind of like, yeah, right, they'll be the next intro decks or something. They're going to have all bad cards. Maybe you get one cool rare. So anyway, let's take a look at these deck lists because I am just in shock. So deck list number one, and there's four of these all together, is called Vehicle Rush, and Vehicle Rush is basically Mardu vehicles and when you think oh wizards making an intro deck version of Mardu vehicles probably has like sky skiffs and some of the janky vehicles no this deck has four heart of curins it has four bomb at couriers have four toolcraft exemplars four scrap heaps scroungers it's got a pretty realistic sideboard it's got dual lands in the mana base four spire of industries unclaimed territories it's really insane how much value is in this deck. As you can see, $30 MSRP, this deck is $95 at current prices. You're getting four Heart of Curins, over $20 by itself. You're getting Spire of Industries and Unclaimed Territories, which are each like $3 a piece or something like that. You're getting a Concealed Courtyard, which is like $6 or $7. You're getting a Dragon Skull Summit. So this deck is just off the chart value-wise. And now you're probably thinking, okay, so this was the good one. Vehicle Rush is the valuable deck. They printed one good one every one's gonna want that one so let's take a look at the next deck so next we have second sun control which is kind of the blue white approach deck of the challenger deck cycle and while not quite $95 $79 at current prices $79 and it's only $30 MSRP so what are the big hitters you're getting in this control deck well irrigated farmland the place out of that is like 23 bucks 24 bucks modern staple field of ruin is over four dollars a piece two copies of that you're also getting fumigate Settle the Wreckage is like 7 bucks. Approach to the Second Sun is even worth a decent amount of money. So you are easily getting your value from the Blue White Approach deck. And that's not even counting. Sideboard, 4 Regal Caracals. Wizards even built real sideboards. If you look at the legit tier builds of this deck, 4 Regal Caracal is like the key sideboard plan. Because you have no creatures, your opponent sideboards out the removal, you sideboarded Regal Caracal. So they actually are not just building valuable decks and throwing valuable cards together, but they're actually designed to really compete. Like, I think you you could take this build of blue white approach directly out of the box take it to your local game store to an fnm and you could compete with it is it 100 percent optimal probably not quite you could use some more dual lands but really this is very close to being the tier version of second sun control i'm just kind of speechless at how well wizards did with this product and we still have two more decks to go next up we have the counter surge deck which is basically green black snake green black winding constrictor and once again 84 dollars 30 buck msrp coming at walmart so it's going to be cheap it's you know it's going to be that price so what are you getting in the green black counter deck well we got glint sleeve siphoner full playset verderous gear hulk three copies a single walking ballista is like 12 bucks by itself a fatal push is like seven dollars or something so there's a lot of value stuffed into this deck as well and once again i mean this deck looks pretty playable sure you can make some small upgrades hour of glory could be changed to Veraska's Contempt, for example. You probably want more Fatal Pushes, but this build by itself 
could definitely compete and do a decent job of winning at an FNM level. I think it's definitely possible that you could do well at an FNM straight out of the box with this deck. Finally, we have Hazaret Aggro, and this might be the most surprising one of all. So this is basically ramen on bread, ramen on breadless ramen on bread, but this deck has a couple of pretty exciting cards in it. The deck has a Chandra Torch of Defiance, which Chandra right now is $29.99, $30 by itself. Modern staple, really, really good card. So you get for $30, not just a Chandra, not just the other 74 cards in the deck, but you get a Hazard the Fervent as well, which is 23 bucks, also seeing play in Modern. So just those two cards almost doubles up the MSRP of this deck. Sure, there's a lot of cheap cards. Fanatical Firebrand, you get a Glorybringer, Carry Zabs, like, there are other powerful cards, but they're cheap cards, along with a full sideboard, but you're getting so much value out of these deck lists. So, overall, I am blown away at how good these deck lists are. Wizards, what they basically did is they printed a product that you really can take to your FNM and compete with it right away. I think this is the first time in the history of Standard that we've had an out-of-the-box product that actually looks like it could compete. And I'm not saying the decks are 100% optimal. Like, with Hazard Aggro, you probably want more Hazards, but they are pretty close to being optimal, some more so than others, and they definitely have a power level that you could compete with, and not only is the power level there, the value is just off the chart. Being able to get so many expensive cards Every single one of the deck, the cheapest one at current prices, is $80, and they're selling for $30 MSRP, and the most expensive ones are like $90, $95. So the one thing I did want to say, the one negative to these decks that's worth mentioning is every single expensive card in these decks is going to be rotating in September. So what Wizards basically did is printed the last year of sets, and now leading up to rotation, about six months from now we'll have rotation when the fall set releases, Wizard was like, alright, now we'll print these decks, we'll make them really cheap so everyone can have access to them. So be warned, if you buy any of these decks, the deck does go away in September when rotation comes, but still, for $30, even if you're getting six months of play out of it at your FNM, that is an absurdly good deal, and with some of these decks, Chandra is an expensive card. That is a card that is going to maintain value after rotation, so you're not even really going to lose your investment, so you're kind of getting a free standard deck, because you could always, you could take this and sell the Chandra at current prices for the cost of the entire deck and have 74 cards for free, and that is true of a lot of these decks. So, I just got to say, big shout out to Wizards, Challenger decks, I am blown away. I was skeptical, I thought they were going to be intro decks 2.0 or something like that but these decks are legit they are cheap they're going to be high in supply because they're mass market at big box stores so if you're looking for a cheap way to get into standard even if it's only for six months leading up to rotation definitely keep an eye out for the challenger decks because wizards absolutely crush it with these they are a great way for new players or new to standard players or just players that want a different deck maybe you've been playing scarab god control and you want to try out ramen on bread but you don't want to spend the money you could just go pick up one of these decks for 30 bucks and be able to compete with it and if you don't like it sell the shounder and get your money back it's a free roll so overall blown away by the challenger decks great job wizards keep an eye out for them coming up on april 6th should be available everywhere so anyway what do you think what challenger Deck are you most excited for? Are you, like me, surprised by how much value Wizard stuffed into these decks? Is it going to make you play Standard if you don't play Standard? Or are you going to buy one of these anyway just for the value? The value is so good. So let me know in the comments what you think about these Challenger decks. I'm super excited for them. Hopefully you are too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.